join me in the kitchen briefly for this one. This is the trim panel that goes on the back of the back seat of the Lanchester and it's quite wrinkled up. Due to age, a little bit of water getting past the boot seal. The thing is you can fix it. Almost perfectly. You can bring it back to nearly good as new. It'll be good enough for what we need. You just need an iron on the dry setting. You don't need it on steam. I've got this one set to wool, so you want a moderate heat. Don't go too hot because you'll melt the plastic finish on this. Use a piece of kitchen towel just to protect your iron from any glue that might be on here. The kitchen towel will, well, it soaks up all the stuff. Also gives you a slight barrier between the iron and the fabric, prevents a bit of burning there as well. Very carefully work from the flattest areas out to the curled out areas and just gradually flatten the whole thing out. And just take your time. There you go, that's why I use the paper. There's obviously some glue left on here and the heat's activated it a little bit. Rather that than it sticking to the iron. I'll bring you back when I've finished. It's got the worst of the curls out. Some of the edges, like round here, where it's got the slots cut into it. This goes round the arch and has trim going over the top so you don't need to worry about these areas being completely flat. Same with down here where this tide line is. That's where the boot floor goes and this goes underneath. This is now much flatter which is good. It means that this whole piece now can go back in the car and it will look appropriate for the age. And here's why you use your paper tissue. This is all the glue and sticky dirt that it's pulled off. And this would have ended up on my iron, so I'm glad that I used that technique. Before we fit it, I'll give everything a clean, which is just any soapy water that you have. And that will just get the worst of these marks out. So when it goes in, it will look as nice as it feasibly can. Before I pack up for the day, it seems sensible to do another small job on the car. We have the trims for in here, as you saw recently, I pressed the fabric that's back there. And I'm going to use some carpet adhesive we've got left over from a job in the house, should be good enough. And some decent sized tacks, round wire nails, but it's, uh, again, should be good enough for what we're doing here, I think. Thank you. 
that's not too bad. It'll never be perfect, but it's close enough. Considering how bad it was when we first got everything, I don't think that's too bad. I've got a feeling it's supposed to go underneath that one. these go. Not had these on before, these were just loose when we got the car so we spent a bit of time figuring it out. There's a hole in one of them for the boot wire to go through and yeah, because of how I've done everything, um, if I'd known that before, I understand why this was cut now. Because if you cut that, you don't have to take this panel off. But it looks like somebody realised that after cutting the, the wire that was in. They are shaped so that they fit over the wheel arch here. I'm going to start from that end and then come towards the middle and stop short because I'm not sure which way around they overlap in the middle. They're under a fair bit of tension as well, but that could just be because of the water that was getting in the boot before we got the car. So they might be slightly deformed. Quite difficult. I wish I'd done this before the boot lid went on now. They do not like going in. Well that was a slight ordeal, occasionally they'd start to go even in the original holes and then bend, so that was a bit frustrating, but it's in and yeah, it's not perfect but it's an awful lot better than it was. I'm a lot happier with how that's all nice and tidy now, especially the wiring which was sticking out everywhere, so I'm glad that's all away. I do need to finish by putting this down. I can't remember if it was a screw, I think it was on this one, so I'm gonna to have to find out where I've put those. Same with 
down here, now that I know that the wiring is okay in that section. <sighs> Still not ready to put the boot floor in yet though, because unfortunately I need to do this welding in this area before I can do the boot floor. And yeah, it's, it's going to be one of those jobs where it's not a difficult repair, it's just a lot of work to get to it. But that's me done for today, I think. It's a good bit of progress. We're getting cosmetic jobs done now. That's always a nice thing on a car. And we're getting less and less of the tedious electrical jobs and mechanical jobs. The stash of stuff in the car is getting smaller as more and more things go back on, which is always a good feeling. So mostly what's in the boot now is, well, big car cover, lots of spanners, and very little else. Water pump's probably the next big job to do, because that means new engine mount. But that will deal with quite a few problems just putting that back on, which will be nice. And of course the heater core, another big job. I'm going to have to get that one sent away for repair. But we're a lot closer, so I'm happy. Inside, well, the sun visor and the bumper don't really fit anywhere else, so they have to live inside at the moment. Don't worry, the battery was disconnected. Up front, I've bolted the wiper motor down, but I've not connected it yet. I just wanted it in here so it's safe. It does look a little bit new compared to everything else under here, but it's not too bad. And the last thing I did was ran that mystery wire. So the black with the white traces is actually supposed to run from this headlight down underneath the radiator and back up to this light. So this one can piggyback off this one. Why they chose a different colour for the wire, I have no idea because the wire it's piggybacking is red with a black trace. But that's what we've got, so that's what we'll use. And of course, this lamp's off at the moment because, well, I thought the wiring went to that and it didn't, it went to that. So these aren't wired at the moment, but they will be when everything else is sorted out. We are getting there.